Ryan with Miss Dog Geek here, and today, more QDX stuff. Yes, uh, QDX, it went on sale today, and it went on sale at 1800 Zulu for 14 minutes. If you didn't get one in that 14 minutes, you're gonna have to wait for the next batch. Uh, apparently, uh, the so, well, so many of us rushed in that their server nearly caught on fire and could barely run even the shopping cart. And so we kind of had to squeeze in there and just keep clicking and hoping that it worked. So I hope you got your order in. I know I did. I'm really excited to get my QDX when it comes. When will it come? After Hans sorts out the mess of 450 orders. Actually, 474 orders because uh, while the server was busy trying to extinguish its uh, own hard drives and memory, uh, <laughs> It uh, actually let too many orders through. Apparently it just couldn't keep up and it didn't turn off the orders in time. So uh, there's quite likely some duplicate orders and things. So Hans is going through there and has to manually sort through all of them before he can decide that everything is in order and start shipping them. So give him some time. It'll take time. Um, keep an eye on the groups.io page for updates from Hans about that if there are any. Uh, in fact, I'll link the, I'll link the groups.io page below because uh, that's where you want to be for everything QDX related. Or here, you could just subscribe here and I'll do my best to update you. That's fine too. Uh, so you'll get it when you get it. Um, just sit tight, give them some time. What about the next batch? Well, right now, as you know, there's a global semiconductor shortage and Hans is definitely affected by that. And so when he can get more parts, he'll make more QDXs and that's going to take some time. You might even have to use slightly different parts and re-engineer it and all that kind of thing. Um, so he's looking into it. So no guarantees about anything. I mean, that would be ridiculous to guarantee anything. But he is definitely going to make more of them when he can. And so um, yeah, it'll be pretty interesting to see what happens there. When he makes more of them, he will very likely make a version that has more bands available as well. Not more than four, but different bands. Uh, so instead of 80, 40, 30, 20, maybe he'll do, you know, uh, a version like, you know, 40, 20, 40, 20, 10 or 15, 10, or, you know, 60, 30, 15, 12, or 17. I don't know. He'll do it. And um, so we'll see how that turns out. That's going to take some more work as well. Um, you can't, you can't change the, the first batch. It's hard coded to be uh, 80, 30, 80, 40, 30, 20. So, um, yeah. So if you're looking for higher bands, the next batch will, will likely be what you're looking for. Um, if he does that on the next batch, I, I don't know if he has to do it on the next batch, but I, am, uh, I would suspect so. Another question that people are often asking is, how about more power? Well, uh, the QRP Labs 50 watt PA that was designed for use with the QCX will work with the QDX. Uh, the QCX puts out a single tone of CW. Well, the QDX puts out a single tone for a very short time and switches to another one and another one, but only one tone at a time, no linearity needed. And so that class C amplifier will work fine, but it'll only work at 25 amp or 25 watts because it's not designed for 100% duty cycle. Um, CW is not 100% duty cycle, digital is. So it needs to be tuned, uh, derated a little bit to be able to handle that. Uh, the other thing is, is that there is no PTT switch or no PTT output uh, on the QDX. So Hans will do a firmware update and uh, offer a hardware mod that you can add a PTT port to your QDX with. Uh, the other thing, I, let's see, I think that was actually it. So um, yeah, I, hopefully uh, you were able to get your QDX and um, stay tuned on this channel. Make sure you subscribe because I will be doing a complete build series on this. Uh, I'll probably skip the, you know, the cap capacitors and resistors and diodes and stuff. I mean, that's all easy peasy, but uh, on the, you know, the, the, what I'm doing, the toroids and, you know, whatever esoteric things there are, you know, little, I know there's a part where you have to just switch out some inductors from the board, some SMD inductors for some, uh, some little axial uh, inductors. So, Easy stuff, but I'll definitely be covering it. Um, easy, for, well, I say easy. It's easy. To, I don't think that stuff is hard, but if you've never done it, it might be. Um, so I'll be covering how to do that stuff and uh, hopefully give you some videos that you can watch and enjoy, enjoy. And they'll be short like this one. Speaking of that, 
It's at five minutes, so I'm going to say goodbye for now. You've been watching Miss Dog Geek. We'll see you next time.